Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video which is going to be all around back to school slash back to nursery um, cloth nappy routine. If you haven't noticed already it's absolute havoc in the house and you'll see more of this later on. I'm very very embarrassed to be showing you guys all of this but at the same time it's it's just something that I can't avoid. As you can see I'm in my child's room and it does not look like a kid's room at the moment. He is like two and a half years old and yet it just looks like an old granny's room at the moment. But there's so many great plans coming. It's just the fact that we're having to sort out the whole house and our priority at the moment is storage. But I've jumped straight into it. If you are new here, I've actually moved into a new house about six months ago. We've gone through rewiring. I've done a tour if you wanted to have a look at that as well. My name is Alina Ghost as well. Now I do loads of videos around cloth nappies and mum hacks clean with me's and things like that so if you are interested I'd love to have you with us so do click that subscribe button and if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up as I do these in my spare time. Amazing so basically what the plan for today is actually get some nappies put, uh, to put them together. Um, we have been going through a potty training journey and actually my son managed to get like the poo side out of the way very quickly in the sense that he picked it up uh, he managed to poo in the potty pretty much straight away and it's just the wheeze that we're having a little bit of trouble with so like he sort of either doesn't realize that he needs to go and then ends up going whether it's just on the floor whether it's in, in his trousers but ultimately it's been like the summer holidays and it's been quite inconsistent we haven't had a routine he's been with a family members left right and center because obviously we work full time we've taken some great holidays off but at the same time that means great activities as well so we'd put like the nappies back on him so there's no that consistent way of like just saying no pants or like no no nappies um but we'll get there very soon because we're going back to nursery so what that means is we're actually starting a new nursery because we moved house and I've had to prepare a few things from like um, nice polo shirts that had to be in a specific colour. So his ones are red. Um, also like a bottle and I also had to get him some plimsoll. So I'll show you. So I got some from m and only £7. Which is quite decent I thought. Um, his feet are growing so quickly it's unbelievable. I also got him a raincoat from m and so that's how it started. So yeah basically the plan is to get the washing down from the air and you'll see there's loads of boxes and horrible stuff around it but also along the way I'm going to show you some great tips and tricks as we move into like that colder season when it comes to the cloth nappies and going back to nursery just to make lives easier for all of us here so let's get to it I've taken down all the stuff from the air and then we're going to put it together in just a second but I just wanted to say thank you so so much to my viewers who are really keen on seeing more changing and nappy videos and don't worry they're coming it's just I'm prioritizing decorating my bedroom and then there's going to be loads of things that I have planned for you guys including a changing 
um, nappy video. So don't worry, thank you so much for being patient, but at the moment, let's get to this, let's put these together, and I'm hoping that this gives you some motivation to actually prepare as well for Monday when the kids go back to school. I've moved the camera, hoping that you guys can see better whilst I work. I'm gonna just go through a few things with you, hoping that this helps you out in the coming months as it gets colder but don't worry autumn is one of the best seasons because it's just so beautiful all the leaves start coming out golden and i'm just looking forward to seeing the countryside change whilst we come into the new seasons and everything so firstly we know that there's a cost of living crisis unfortunately it means that electricity and bills are a lot harder to pay because they're a lot dearer um, but I've got a few suggestions for that firstly try and use less of your tumble dryer if you have a tumble dryer I personally don't I wanted to get one I wanted to move house first and then get one but now I'm having second thoughts so we'll see how we get on in the next couple of years I also need the space for it so let's first sort out the house and then see what that looks like um so at the moment I have been using the air or the washing line outside because it's been glorious weather but if you're going to use the air a lot more now that there's a cost of living crisis I do recommend perhaps putting it into a warmer hotter room so like the conservatory or try a room where it gets like a lot of sun so that basically you get the warmest room and it means that the drying times are just so much quicker so I definitely do suggest that one but the other thing I was going to recommend is the fact that there are cheaper times to use the washing machine too so I did a um, video on how to like look after clean your washing machine and there I've actually done a lot of research into this and it says that if you use like your washing machine between certain times it actually costs less because less people are using that electricity it's like off peak times usually obviously that's overnight between 10 p.m and and like 5 a.m i believe never leave your washing machine overnight um but what i do and it's actually like not too bad costings either although it's not the cheapest it's still cheaper than it is to do at prime time or like the the peak times um I usually do it as soon as I get up about 7am I pop in uh, into the washing machine my uh, my um, son's uh, nighttime nappy um, and then off it goes at 7am so I do find that that works well for us so hopefully that saves you a penny or two as well quickly though something that I've learned in the previous house is that you need to watch out for mold especially during the colder seasons every single year we used to go through the house um, and actually spray anti-mold stuff and just clean it off after a while it stinks it's horrible you need to have really good airflow but at the same time like do try and invest in dehumidifier especially if you know that it's an issue in your house um, I definitely recommend one of those. I just had a little one and it really did help, especially when I put um, washing up uh, an error in any room. Um, I'd put a, a dehumidifier in with it. Obviously, it means using more electricity. So, yeah, do be careful of that. But if you can't do that, try and make sure that there's enough airflow in the room to make sure that, like, your, your washing gets dried. But at the same time, the moisture doesn't stay in the air either. I've mentioned this earlier, but Aiden is starting a new nursery next week. And that means they've never done cloth nappies before. So I don't think any of them have. Because when I asked about it and asked whether it's going to be a problem, when I did, like, the talk, they they said it's not going to be a problem but they've not done it before they think it's a great idea because obviously it saves the environment so that's fantastic um, but at the same time it's it's not something that they've done before so I'm hoping to send them an email um, I might do a printout or two as well especially in that first week to give them some more information I'll send them that video that I did around changing nappies as well hopefully that helps them a little bit better so that they can actually fit it in properly and get a little bit more confident with it but as I said Aiden has been potty training so I'm really hoping that he's able to go to the teachers and say um, that he, he needs to go so we'll see how that works out maybe he'll he won't feel comfortable and just go in his nappy but we'll see and I will be sure to update you guys in a couple of weeks time let you know how it all went 
if you're going through a similar sort of process as I am, actually starting a new nursery and getting them like on that journey of cloth nappies with you, um, uh, the first thing I'd recommend is probably just making sure that you're being as helpful as possible, letting them understand how to fit the nappy properly, obviously providing them with everything that they need from nappies to the wet bags and just making it as pleasant as possible if you can with nappies in general. Um, ultimately they should be doing this day in day out and even though it's not a usually cloth nappies, like cloth nappies are nearly enough the same, it's just you don't throw them away, you just put them in the wet bag and off they go to the wash. And the lady actually thought that I was asking her to wash the nappies as well at the nursery and I was like no no don't be silly I'll be doing all the hard work and I'll be providing them with the new nappies so they don't have to worry about any yucky stuff. I do like to ramble on don't I? Let's sort this stuff out. I can't remember the last time I had to do like a batch like that because since starting potty training at home I'm just keeping him without any nappies on or like the training pants and stuff and when we do put 
things on it will be like ad hoc and it was usually one or two a day because we're gonna go out and like walk the dog and stuff um so that was actually really relaxing i forgot how like therapeutic it was to put those together clearly it's a hobby of mine i was laughing actually on instagram saying how it's like my hobby to do the washing these days and like obviously cloth nappies aside it's like putting the washing up doing the washing putting the washing up <laughs> but yeah no it's been absolutely lovely just to do that and take you guys on the journey with me as well so i'm going to walk through all the batches that i've done with you guys um so that you can see what i've done so this is the nighttime nappy um we still use this um something that i've noticed actually is i don't know whether he necessarily needs it until like he wakes up so what i plan to do is as soon as he wakes up um put him straight on the potty and see whether actually he can like stop weeing during the night in that case like see basically i want to do potty training first and then we'll get to the nighttime nappy stuff i have made good set of eight nappies as i said we try not to use nappies at home anymore but the ones that I've put in the basket we will use for like dog walks um, and anywhere else we might go. So these are like basically things that I want to use at home, whether it's like a mishmash or whether it's some of the favourites. So like we've been using pull-ups quite a lot as well. Um, and these guys I am going to put into my trusted Athea wet bag. Uh, I've taken this on holidays with us. Um, time away and just used it for storage and it has been such a lifesaver definitely recommend it uh, the brand is Thea as I've mentioned and the way you spell it is definitely different to what I'm used to like I didn't expect it to be called that it's F-I-Y-Y-A-H definitely a lovely brand and there's a few things left over that I didn't use um, these days I actually find that the Velcro isn't suitable for Aiden uh, he just keep like these keep falling off so I just don't think I'm going to use them anymore uh, I do have some velcro ones already sorted uh, you might already know if you've been watching my other videos that I give these to Nanny because she's got problems with her hands um, so she finds the velcro ones a lot easier um, so that it doesn't hurt her so what I'm gonna do now is put those away and then off we go the idea is basically so that we get prepared as much as possible before next week and as the weather progresses and gets colder that we are ready for that climate change and how we do our cloth nappy routine I hope all of this stuff that I've mentioned to you helps you guys whether it's cost reasons or whether it's just the routine and new nursery congratulations if that's the case and I will be sure to speak to you guys very very soon thanks so much for watching and until next time